Uh, the price including GST of a car is 6,142.50, uh, 0.50, sorry, what is the GST? The rate of GST is 15%. Now, this is one problem where students really struggle. Uh, when, you, when they see an example like this, they think, well, GST is 15%, so they think of taking away 15% from this, so uh, they think that they will get the price without GST, and from that you can find the GST. Okay, now GST stands for goods and service tax. So as a businessman, or uh, as anyone who is selling anything, if it can be goods or service, uh, you have to charge uh, GST uh, for the for, for the government. So what we do is, suppose you are selling cars, okay? So you bought a car for some, let, it, let me give an example. Say, you bought this car, say the cost price, <coughs> say the cost price is say, let me write $100, okay? And you want a profit of say, uh, say 30%. You want a profit of 30% on it, so I want you to, I want to sell, I can say the selling price uh, is, say I want to sell it for $130, okay, there's nothing wrong there. Okay, so the government says, well, you can sell it for $130, but you have to charge GST on this. So what you do have to do is, you have to add 15% GST. So you'll go 15% of 130 which is 0 0.15 times 130. Okay, so that is, let me use a calculator. So this is 0 0.15 times 130. You can do this without a calculator. 10% is 13, so 5% is 6.5. So 13 and 6.5 is 19.5. So this is $19.5. So this is uh, $19.5. So you can say the price with GST, the price with GST is 130, which is the price with the profit, plus the GST, which is $19.50, which is 149.50. So when you, whenever you have a price written on anything, on any goods, you may have seen that it is a, pri it is a price with GST. So it has a component of GST in it. So well, you may think, well, if this is the price with GST, what if I take away, can't I take away 15% from this and will I not get this? So let's try that. So let us find 15% of 149.5. Okay, so how do you do this? This is 0 0.15 times 149.5. So where's my calculator? Here's my calculator. 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.15 times 149.5. This is 22.425. 22.425. Obviously you can see this is not giving me 19.5. So if I go 149.5, take away 22.425, you can understand logically that is not going to be $130. Or one, uh, that is $130, sorry. So let us do it. So what is that number? So this is, what was the number? 149.5. Take away 22.425, which is 127.075, which is 127.075, which is not $130. So this is one thing that I want would like you to understand that if you take away 15% from the price with GST, you will not get the price without GST. Okay. So yeah, in this example, this this price is the price with GST. This price is the price with GST, and you want to find the price, you want to find the GST. So let us think what's happened. 
how did you get this? So, uh, when you inc GST is something that you add on to the price without GST. So this price, as we called, this is the selling price. We can also call this the price without GST. This is the actual selling price. That is what, as a seller, you're going to get. Okay. As a seller, you want to, you will only have right over this $130. So when you're selling it, selling it at 149.5, this 19.5 goes to the government, and you can take only $130. Okay. So here, let me finish. So I can, can I say, price, price without GST. Without GST, I'll explain this formula later on. Price without GST, you can remember this formula. Price without GST times 1.15 will give you price with GST. Now you may wonder where did this 1.15 come, come from. So what's happening? When you want the price with GST, you want this you want to you want to have the price without gst plus 0.15 of the price without gst so i think that is confusing so this instead of doing if you want to if i did i did here i added 15 percent and then added so if i want to do this in one step okay suppose if i want to do this in one step Price with GST, price with GST. Let us be in this example. So we have got a profit of 130 and we want to add 15% to it. So can I say that is, if you want to get 149 in one step from here, so here we have done, this is your first step and this is your second step. So what you did was you first found 15% and then you added on that 15% to 130. Instead of that, this is the smarter way of doing it. You can do 130 times 1.15. So actually what, what you're doing is, this is nothing but, if you understand distributive property, so this is 130 times 1 plus 130 times 0.15. This and this are the same. This is 130 and this is, 19.5. I'll show you that. So let me do it in one step. So this is 130 times 1.15, which is 149.5. I hope you understand 130 times 1.15 is same as multiplying 130 times 1 plus 130 times 0.15 which is 149.5. So if you want to do in one step, the price with GST is the price without GST times 1.15. Okay. So if you know this formula, I can write, uh, I can write this formula like this, the price without GST times 1.15 is equal to what is the price with GST? They have given us the price with GST is 16142.5, 6142.5. Okay. So now to get rid of this, to get rid of this 1.15, what should I do on the left hand side? Well, I can divide this side by, if I divide this side by 1.15, this and this gets cancelled. But you can't do something on one side. You have to do it also on the other side to maintain the equality. So let me delete this. Okay. So what have I done? I have deleted, sorry, I have divided both sides by 1.15. So this becomes, therefore I can say the price without W dash U means without GST is... 6142.5 times, sorry, divided by 0.5 divided by 
So let us use a calculator. Uh, 6142.5 divided by 1.15, which is, I'll write this in two decimal places, 5341.3, yeah, 500 and 5000, I forgot the number, 5000, 5341.3, 5, 5341.3. So this is dollars is the price with without GST. So I, you can understand lo logically. So the GST is the price with GST, with GST, take away the price without GST. So the price with GST was 6142.5, take away 5341.3. So let us use a calculator. So, so 6142.5, take away 5341.3, which is 801.2. So the government gets this 801.2 from the seller. So in other words, you're paying 801 to the government and you're paying 5,341 to the seller. Now let us check the answer. So let us check the answer in a different way. So what we are saying, so your GST is 801.2. Your price without GST. It's always good to check your answer. Price without GST is 5,341.3 and your price with TST is 6,142.5. So let us check the answer in both ways. So we can, in one step if you want to do 5,341.3 times 1.15. So let us understand this. When you're multiplying by this, this is same as 5,341 times 1.15. Can I write is 1 plus 0.15. Okay. So this is nothing but 5,341.3. Sorry. So this is 5,341.3. Times one plus zero point one five. Now using the distributive property, so this is five thousand three hundred and forty one point three times one plus five thousand three hundred and forty one point three times point one five. So this is nothing but five thousand three hundred and forty one. 0.3 this gives you times 1 will give you the same number plus so let us use a calculator 5341.3 times 0.15 which is 801.801.1 because this is yeah 0.2 okay what was the answer yeah 0.2 when you round this when you round this to the nearest decimal, uh, uh, to one decimal point, it is 501.2, so 801.2. And that is nothing but 6,142.5. Uh,